I think it's safe to say the situation with Ryu and his crazy changes throughout the year. And I think we all know that he's going to end up mastering the most powerful move in Street Fighter 6, if yet possible. Ryu is at a point to master both light and darkness in Street Fighter 6, which may create the most powerful version of the warrior yet. The arc of the games have been setting up for some changes for over 20 years. Good God Almighty. This is like a week so like a few weeks ago, posted on the 18th of December. Yeah, you mind. Ryu is not just the poster boy for Street Fighter, but also for fighting games as a whole, which has, um, which has led to his appearance and fighting style staying largely the same for the past 30 plus years. Though the original Shoryuken seems to be showing some signs of progressing lately. From Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 and to, to, to Street Fighter 3, excuse me, the World Warrior is given a petty, uh, uh, um, was, excuse me, um, is given a pretty, uh, says to me, no, hado, inside of himself to potentially ascending to become a sage and it is very likely going to have a big impact on Ryu's gameplay and story going forward into the Street Fighter 6. That was so bad on my reading part, my apologies y'all, but I think this part of the article is talking about how his first set of moves began in War Warrior, how he's trying to master a different type of technique come Street Fighter 6, pretty much setting things up for your boy as well. Before that point, Capcom had their iconic character working to find himself and battle the um, past the darkness within him which brought him into conflict with characters like M. Bison and Akuma for trying to abuse or test that one other side, leading to creation of Evil Ryu and Letter Cage. Golly! I remember seeing something like this in Street Fighter 4 uh, where they got like different versions of the game and you got the Evil Ryu. I wonder if they got the anime version of Street Fighter 4. Because that could possibly explain why he's been having these dark powers as of late. I mean, I've known about them before, but I never know how he got it until now. Very largely continued into Street Fighter IV's period. Although this time it gave Ryu a light at the end of the tunnel thanks to the reintroduction of his master Goken and the power of nothingness. Power of nothingness. This power, this power that allowed a fighter to survive that Raging Demon became the key to Ryu's success in Street Fighter V story. The Mono can allow him to finally, hopefully, gain full control over the Setsu, uh, Setsu no Hado to rest while he also used it to defeat in Bison and Nikali. You know, it's funny because each time when I read, sometimes the grammars be really off and it gets to a point where it gets really hard for me to pronounce certain words correctly. So, it was at this point too that uh, solidified the connection between Ryu's abilities between the last three games with the different moves he has access to and when he can use them. In Street Fighter 4, for example, Ryu cannot use the... Dejin Hadoken. Sorry, so I'm looking at my phone. Uh, uh, oh, Dejin Hadoken, uh, Donkey Kick, or Parries. Wow. That will shift in Street Fighter V, the next title in the timeline, when he could time into the Dejin power, but only while his V trigger is active. Ryu can parry too. I mean, Ryu can parry too. Though that is also limited with success, of, um, which suggests that these abilities are incomplete, not yet mastered. Although it is the first developed on the mentioned games, Street Fighter 3 serves as the current event, I mean, sorry, um, as the current end of the series story and also represents Ryu's current peak when the Dijin Hadogan 
is a normal super art at the point. Wow, good for you. So basically, they're saying that in the previous games, you couldn't really access to that special power, but that was unsuccessful. But in Street Fighter V, he was able to tap into that power, but it was only limited in a certain times. Uh, I, I, I have always assumed that the danger powers came from the power of nothingness, but the super art is reportedly uh, listed as a technique that requires mastery after Setsu no Hado, which actually makes it more interesting in terms of gameplay opportunities and lore. The Denshin Hadogen is said to be made from combining one's, I mean one's uh, positive energy with the uh, clashing negatives of the Dark Hado, which would mean that Ryu can still tap into the violent powers within the word of it taking control of him once again. Mastery of the Sesu no um a Sesui no Hado. I'm tongue twirling, I can't even pronounce these words right. Y'all please forgive me for this one. A Sesu no Hado means that tools like Red Fireball could easily come back for real in Street Fighter 6. And they could pull off I mean uh, um they could pull from the pole and um, pull from the pool, even Ryu kids uh, specific moves if they wanted to. Though it'd be a bit of uh, a shock to see Capcom go that far with their poster board. Using both the Sesundo Auto and Mono Ken. My reading sucks, y'all. Like, I'm sorry. I, I really hate reading so much, but I gotta do it. I gotta pull through. Gotta push through. Using both the Sesu no Hado and Moto King has actually appeared in Street Fighter comics before, with Shin Ryu being able to wield both at the same time, which could be a real game changer if they do wish to explore that route more in the future. <sighs> so much Combination move brings interest and in, um, sorry, um, interesting innovation to the ta uh, to the table, even if it's just power up. House of his adulting and show you can further, maybe even an upgrade to the Gaioken or Shinadoken is in order. That also leaves the door open to what exactly the Mono Ken can do in practice since we've only really seen it. Heard about it put to use through Goken and Gen. Ryu uses it to completely dispel the darkness in Bison and Nikali in Street Fighter V, so perhaps more qualities of uh, purification and oh, enlightenment could make their way in next time. I'm sorry, um, could make the way in next time, though we've already seen it a bit of a trajectory for that already. The other major change for Ryu in Street Fighter V was the addition of way more defense tools for the character considering both of his V skills and one of his V triggers are built specifically around parries or counters. This shift for forcing his opponents to come to him very much uh, uh, resembles the design aspects of Gokin and Street Fighter 4 insists of the ships for the students to become more like master. Wow. A long article, y'all. Look, I can't read all of this, but let's just say that they're going to probably use some of this in Street Fighter 6. They probably will, but who knows how it's going to turn out. But hopefully, it'll be a lot different than Street Fighter 5. Put the article, it'll be down below. Yeah, like I said, this is the longest article I've ever read. The words were not were not easy to pronounce, but I try my best. I know everything now. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. And uh, yeah, take care.